Hi everyone, today's video is how to properly cancel a booking in Vacation CRM. Believe it or not, this has come up uh, quite a few times in the past few days, so I just figured I'd make a quick video on it. So here I have a trip that you can see is marked as paid in full, um, almost $7,000 trip. So you know, if I leave it alone, the clients are going to receive their automated emails, they are going to um, show up in the revenue reports and the commission reports but that is not what you want if the booking is canceled so there's a couple different ways to do this depending on the situation uh, so first if it is a true cancellation there's you know no refund there's no commission or you know anything like that all you have to do is just come in here and mark it as canceled and it will ask you if you want to complete all reminders associated with this trip you'd say okay and as well as any custom emails um, you know or payments or anything that there's an email group is what that is uh, it'll cancel all of those that are pending as well so you hit OK and then just save it and then just by doing that you can see if I were to run the revenue by agent report and I already set up the dates for that exact booking so if I were to run this for my uh, sales you will see that that is no longer in there so again if it's true cancellation there's no commission involved or anything just mark it as canceled you don't have to mess with anything else whatsoever none of the pricing will show up anywhere where it shouldn't now the other situation is if there is some sort of insurance involved or if there's still going to be some sort of uh, money that you are going to receive for that and you need that to be reflected in your commission reports what you can do is you can mark it as canceled with insurance and again it will cancel all of the pending email groups and reminders and all of that now this is not specifically just for insurance that's just the most common situation it could be if you had your own fees on there you could leave it as this um, but what this does is it will leave this trip in the revenue and the commission report so there's a few things you need to do so I'm just gonna save this status and then after I do that I need to go into the reservation here and I need to remove all costs except for what they are not being refunded which in this case would be the insurance cost so I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna zero out all of these costs here so this one I'm gonna just delete that and I'm gonna delete this and the only cost I'm going to leave right here is the travel protection and then the other thing I want to do here is adjust my commission. I don't have any in here, but let's say it was 500 before. And let's just say that I'm going to get $100 via the insurance. And then I'll just save that. Now, since I already had payments marked on here, if I were to preview the invoice after doing all of this, you will see that there is actually going to be a negative balance with which if you if all the numbers are correct this should be what they would be receiving back because you zeroed out all of the costs that are being refunded they've already paid in full so this number should be the amount they're going to receive back from either you or the supplier so if you want to generate that and send it to the client to let them know here's what I have on file for you to receive back you can do that um, if you're not going to send that what this also does is if I were to run say the pending agent commission report now you're gonna see this commission is still showing up and if I were to run that revenue report again it would show the revenue of only the cost of the insurance so um, as long as you're re removing all the prices that they are being refunded uh, everything should balance out correctly the invoice the revenue reports and the commission reports so let me know if you have any questions